show you some of the traits uh, that I took. Huh? Okay, uh, first one I'll share with you is dollar yen. So it's actually very similar to, to Steven. So uh, the only difference here is I actually trade on a higher time frame, mainly 4 hour. And then if I enter a position on 4 hour and I see another opportunity to add on to my position, I'll go in in 1 hour. And then of course what I'll do is something similar to Steven. Steven write on the news. So I also use the news to actually push the market. Alright, so this one here is the first pair I'll just share with you. Uh, and then I'll also explain a little bit why we entered on this trade. First one is dollar yen okay so this is where i shorted um and then this is where it hit tick profit when nfp came out All right so that's about 50 pips uh. then i have another one here very sharp uh, very short trade um that is the add-on trade when nfp came out okay uh. so i'll just quickly share with you why we shorted this or why i shorted this All right so this is where i share with you guys that uh when you see this pattern in the market okay, i'll just use uh okay uh, over here let me just do this huh when you see this pattern in the market, okay, uh, is what we call crawling up, right? So every time you see this pattern, that means you see a very sharp move, and then you see a lot of overlapping and then crawling up movement. Uh, that's where you know that there's a high probability that the next move is actually sharp move down. So that is where uh, this is a breakout trade. It means uh, I just simply draw a line, a trend line, and then if price break below that line. Uh, that's where I entered. So that's where my first position was entered. Right. So that's just a very simple setup. Right. Looking at the crawling up movement, and then this one here, of course, the second one that I entered is based on this strong move followed by a slow correction. So you see, this is a scenario three market move. This is a scenario one market move, and then of course, this is where NFP was very bad, and then it broke the the down line, uh, the trend line, and then entered and then straight away TP here. Okay, so this is a this is a positive ex example uh, on dollar. So both TP, right? Another one I'll share with you is Euro pound, right? That was also taken last week. This one I shared that uh in the WhatsApp I say that if I opportunity I scale in uh, So you can see pretty aggressive. Uh, I got two position here. Uh, but I just share with you uh the overall first first position was entered here. Okay, so this was actually last week, late last week already entered right and then this one here was scaled in this week this one here was scaled in again this week so this one was a break even trade this one here was a small loss and then this one here was a win okay so overall this trade is a small positive one right but the idea here why i scale in is if this here continue to take profit this year that means this whole move continue to move lower uh this one here you take profit this one here take profit this one here take profit then that's where uh your risk reward increase significantly right but not all the time you can see is perfect right so in this case is where you get one break even for skill in another small loss and then this one here is a win okay so i'll just share with you why we and why i entered on this trade very similar h4 this whole portion here is overlapping and it's going up very slowly right so it's technically a crawling up movement right so again a simple line and then this is where i actually draw this line more aggressive like. so once it broke there and then that's where I entered on the first position. Then the rest are skilled in. Okay, this one here, if I show you daily, it's even more obvious. This one here, especially this whole portion here, you can see is what I call crawl, meaning it's losing a lot of momentum going higher already. So there's a very high chance that the reversal will come. Okay, is this is this move done? Uh highly unlikely, but later we have a Euro news, uh we'll see. Alright, so later at 8.30, that's where the news came out. Uh, come out. So I'll analyze, we analyze all the Euro pairs before 8.30, and then you see how the news actually move accordingly as well. Okay, next one is Euro New Zealand. Okay. Uh, this one here is actually a very simple trade. First impulse, a slow correction, and then after that you can see a break. Alright, this one I didn't catch up. Uh, Okay, but uh, I was already in this trade uh, over here. That means I actually entered on another reason. This is a crawl up movement. Okay, I entered on this small break. Okay, that means I entered very aggressive. All right, on this small break. So why I didn't scale in on this position here is because if I scale in here, this position I haven't managed to shift to break even. So the rule on scaling in is you must make sure that you don't over risk yourself. That means your first position must already be risk free. So that's the reason why this one I cannot scale in. Okay, but you realize that 
this one here is more than one used to one. I didn't take profit. Uh. So uh, the reason why I didn't take profit is because I want to go for more. Uh. So I am anticipating that this whole run up will give me a deeper correction. Uh. Okay, so it didn't come. So what I did was I just shift my stop loss to break even when this impulse move came. I shift to break even and then it retraces and then it just got out of break even. Okay, so for those who are more conservative, you actually can easily take TP here already. That means this is at least one is to one move. Okay, so this is another break even trade example. Nothing is impossible. talking just share with you that uh what you learn in, in pro trader right can also apply in stocks right so whether is it us stock or singapore stock you can do that uh, but the challenge is singapore you find those market cap big big stocks that means the stocks must have large market capitalization uh, if you go and find penny stocks you won't see like this uh. Any stocks you just see uh, dash 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 and then whoa then another dash 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 uh. so there's nothing for you to analyze uh. so the idea here is uh, if you want to look for uh, Singapore large market cap one uh, you can actually just google Singapore largest market cap uh, equities or stock then they'll have a list of it okay so I actually actually just went and search then uh, actually get about 35 uh, SGG stocks uh. most of them are names that you probably even heard of it right so i just want to share with you that uh like i applied one uh analysis quick one on the one of the stock uob all right so you can see that uh on daily yeah uh, i'll just mute him first on daily you realize that okay this is the most recent low okay so you can apply the same analysis this is one then a correction and then another impulse up Okay, so what I what I put in is I put in fit and then I measure lah. So basically, you realize that there's a divergence between this high and this high, and therefore I put here as three. This one here is five. Okay, so what you realize is this one here is also a crawl up movement. Okay, because you have a impulse followed by a correction up move. Okay, so once you see something like this, there's a very high probability you will see down down move that means either is it going to give you a very strong down move or it's going to give you a retracement you are interested in shorting it all right so on four hour okay the trend line you can see recently it broke it and why this is a high probability trade is because you see this is the first impulse this is a correction this is another impulse you can expect okay the minimum expectation you want to look out for is this line. okay but of course if you are going for higher target you can go even deeper which means what you do is on daily okay this is a five wave up right you actually do a retracement fit retracement tool you measure from where it starts i think lower let me pull that up okay where it starts is over here okay you can expect a 50 to 618 retracement this portion okay so this is an example of UOB now okay if you want to look at US stock actually US stock is easier for you to go and analyze and trade okay the most recent one is actually Facebook I think uh, Chrissy shared about Facebook as well all right uh, I posted this on uh, trading view as well you can see daily okay this is uh, I took here as the most recent low because this is a very significant correction. Uh. Uh, I can take very far back, but uh, it's pointless because US since 28, 2008 has been on an uptrend only. Uh, right? So what I do is I'll just take the most recent one here. All right, I put it on a four hour chart. Okay, You realize that this is the most recent correction. So I'll take this as one, two, three. This is a very nice correction. You draw a trend line, a break of it, you can expect up to the fifth wave. Right? So it's a very simple analysis that you can also apply on US stock market. Okay, if you look at index, okay, you can also apply that. Okay, I'll show you on index, all right, very simple analysis. Uh, so if I show you another one, uh, JP Morgan. Okay, you can also apply the things on uh, stock market. Okay, JP Morgan. You see this as a correction after a five wave this one here the previous move is a five wave up okay and then a simple one two three abc 
as your wave fall and then now you expect impulse correction one more move up okay so it, the things that you learn here can be applied in any financial market as long as there's liquidity okay i'll show you index huh? German DAX, no, but price not moving as well. Okay, German DAX, this whole previous is an uptrend. Okay, you can see there. And then this is a very nice correction. One, two, three. Then draw a simple trend line, the breakout of it, you can expect it to go 50 to 618. Okay, in fact, this one here is over here. Huh? Okay, your first target is here. Okay, but of course, you would expect if you want to go for more, okay, you can expect it to break this top all the way to the high. Your correction, can I say, is also an impulse? Uh, if you look at things in a bigger perspective, because this is a daily analysis, you realize that this one here is not really an impulse. But if you go one hour, then yes, it's an impulse move down. Right? Because uh, you always need to look into the market as fractal. That means, depending on what time frame you're looking at, you will see different things but you want to at least understand if you're trading on this particular time frame understand what it's doing on the higher time frame understand what it's doing on the lower time frame yeah. so this one here uh, if you trade index don't go below four hour it's very difficult for you to trade it because uh there will be gaps and everything like this. so you want to protect yourself right so the idea here is uh analyze on daily if you want to trade you can trade on four hour uh, for index stocks actually is about the same that means analyze on daily trade on, on four hour is impossible